Well, my name is Ginger Minge, and I, I have the privilege and the honor of being the only plus-size girl to make it into the top three of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah! I should have won. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I did it for all the big girls. I did it for all of us big girls. Okay. You don't have to cheer. I can hear you breathing. Well, they closed wet and wild. We're really upset about it, but I didn't want you all to feel like you weren't getting wet and wild this evening. <laughs> Holy water, so you're fucked. <laughs> This is the Splash Zone. So I'm glad you're here. We're gonna have a good fucking time tonight, I guarantee you. It is gonna be the best time you've ever had at Tidal Wave. I'm gonna personally make sure it is. How you doing up back here? <laughs> back here in the cheap seats. This is nice. What the hell did y'all do? You're not allowed to be out in public with the other people? <laughs> you all look very thin over in this corner. That's why. <laughs> I see you're a star-bellied sneech right there. God bless. No, he, he's wearing the shirt. You can't see it. A buddy is wearing it. Come here. Come on. Come here. Yeah. What's your name? Sean. Sean? Sean, where are you from? Boston. From Boston. Sean from Boston is here. But you live here. Where? Steam room. <laughs> in the steam room. <laughs> That's what I call my panties, sir. <laughs> they fog up real quick. Are you want to visit the steam room? It's all right. All right. And who do you live with? My partner. Your partner. What, you own a business together, like a groomers or something? <laughs> Who's your partner? Rob. Rob. Oh, hi, Rob. How are you? He's got the llama shirt. He, he does have the... You're very good at this. <laughs> My goodness. And they called you Helen Keller. I said, damn. <laughs> All right. Well, I can be the only star on stage at this time, so I'm going to let you go ahead and take your seat, but that's Ooh. nice. It's doing it for me. You go take your free seat over there. <laughs> you tell Rob and the llama shirt not to take too many videos because y'all didn't pay for those tickets. <laughs> Oh no, these are the friends and family of the entertainers over here. I don't know a single one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all excited for the show tonight? Yeah! We're gonna have a great time. Like I said, Bob the Drag Queen and Alaska Thunderfuck 5000 from the planet Glamtron are both here. And they've got some fabulosity planned for you. But there's a couple quick rules before we begin. Number one, the more you scream, the more you shout, the more you act like white trash at a tractor pull, the better this whole show's gonna be. On the count of three, raise the roof. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, oh shit. I, I think I popped my duct tape. <laughs> Don't get too close, Eric. You'll get cockeyed if you know what I mean. <laughs> Rule number two is my favorite. There's only two rules, and the second one is have a good damn time. Yeah! Uh, what, stretch? She, he said, no, I was talking about your pantyhose, girl. They are stretched beyond belief. I was going, that's fine. I could talk to these motherfuckers for a minute. Yeah! That's good. All right, well, give me the house lights. I don't like being up here. This is stupid. I want to be out there amongst the people. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, so how's everybody surviving in this here political climate we got going on? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's what we call a vowel movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's called Fifi O'Hara. Yeah, she'll be here next year. Look, I, I, I'm really not the most political person in the world, but I do have one thing that I have to say. 
if America truly wanted a thin-skinned, narcissistic asshole with bad wigs and a Twitter account to be president, well, God, they would have crowned me the winner of season seven. Because I can do all those fucking things, and I can do them in heels. And along with my running mate, Alyssa Edwards, we could have... She ain't here. You don't have to pretend you like her. It's all right. That horse sent me home on All Stars. <laughs> oh, I know. Boo. No, too soon. Too soon. Happened two years ago, but too soon. <laughs> it's all right. I don't fucking... Everybody's like, we are so upset. Yeah, back rolls. We've all got them in this room. Yeah, we got back rolls, jelly rolls, and big fat yeast rolls. <laughs> sit down, sit down, come sit down, sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, give me a little kiss, give me a little kiss right now. <laughs> Beautiful. But we could run together. She could be my vice president and we'll reprint all of the money to say, and yes, God, mama, we trust the we could have at least come up with a better lineup for that inauguration show. That was terrible! Three doors down. Kid Rock, Ted Nugent, who I thought was a candy bar. <laughs> like somebody went up to that $5 discount CD bin at Walmart and said, mm, that'll do, pig, that'll do. <laughs> we know Trump has no business being president, but damn it, he should have been an archaeologist. Look at all those fossils he dug up. <laughs> Somebody's like, I, I actually really like Kid Rock. Oh, yeah, good. Good for you. You go win, Coco. <laughs> all right. Are there any straight people here tonight? Any at all? Like, straight? You're just here to support. I'm just here to support. I would sit on the stairs, but I don't want you to confuse me for Max. So it's all right. Uh, Although I, too, will be going home after the show tonight. So. Oh, too soon. Oh, God, we're losing. That's all right. So who's the straight ones? They're behind me. Oh, they're in the free seats. Over here. There's one right there. I used to babysit her. That is all right. And I used to babysit her, her brother. All right. And, uh, and I thought I heard something back here. There's one back 